Hi and good morning everyone and welcome back to another episode of Cindy's Home Kitchen. I'm Cindy. Hey. And behind the camera is my son Michael. And Howdy y'all. a little piece of our bacon uh, because I wanted you, the, the dogs, to say hi to everyone. Say hello. Here's Teddy. And remember I told you guys like two, three weeks ago he had a little uh, sis in the back. And uh, we took him to the bed and they did a little surgery. And then uh, they clean his teeth, clean her teeth, but everybody's doing good. So anyway, thanks for uh, being there, guys. And today I want to show you guys how do I make my hash brown frozen potatoes, okay? Another day I'm going to show you guys how to make them from scratch, which is very easier. But because I don't have a cheese cloth, which is kind of like a rag that you can put uh, potatoes after you grind them oh, yeah. to squeeze the water out of it. That's right. So instead of doing these, these are Arida uh, potato hash browns. Oh, yeah. And uh, they cost $2.99 for a bag. And sometimes when they put them on sale, they're two for three. So this is what you do, guys. You take your flat pan that you have in your house. You put three caps of oil. Let's say if your oil cap is like this. If not, you put one big tablespoon or one tablespoon and a half of oil. If you don't have um, olive oil, you can use any olive oil of your kind that you have, okay? Oh, yeah. So I already put the oil and I already was heating that up, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my potatoes, okay? They're frozen. Uh, with my hand, I'm going to unfrozen them like they just separate them, not unfrozen them, but separate. And what we're going to do, okay, my God. I'm going to put a good amount in here. Oh, that's too much. Take that one out and that one out. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to lower. You see how low it is? It's on two, but I'm going to put them on three. Okay, this is in the front. If you don't have um, a thing, if you don't know how to cook, I'm sorry, guys. If you don't have experience doing any of this stuff, use the back burner and make sure you're over 21 and over. Okay, here we go. So, this is what you do. You put it like that all together. And you take some salt because you want to make sure you season them, okay? So, I'm going to put salt like that. Not too much because when we flip it over later, we got to do it on the other side. And now, I'm going to put it on four, okay? That's kind of like a low between medium and low. And right. a little bit of pepper on the top. And we're going to put a lid on it. And we're going to let that... Oh, well, you know what? No lid. Okay. I'm gonna salt and pepper. And we're just going to leave it there like that for uh, 10, 15 minutes and let it cook on low slowly. until it's slowly, until it's nice and crispy. You will know when it's cooked already crispy on that side because you will be able to smell it. And it will lift slightly. You can smell and it will lift. You won't have to like pull up. Okay. So the olive oil that we put is so we can cook in it slowly and also so it won't stick. So now the next thing you do guys, okay. Let's put our timer here. I'm sorry that I don't have a light here, but it burned the microwave light, and that's why we don't have a light here. I'm going to put 15 minutes and start it. 15 minutes on one side, and then 15 minutes on the other side, in between low and medium. You see here? That's the middle of it, so we're going in between the low and the medium right there, okay? For where, when it comes to the heat. So with that, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, okay? And like us. And also, don't go away because I want to see us all together how this comes out. So thanks for watching. Okay, guys, so we're back. Hey. We still have 2 minutes and 18 seconds, right? <laughs> but I can smell it that it's kind of like cooking. So this is what I usually do. I take another pan like that. I'm going to put it there because I got to flip it. And we gotta put some oil, right guys? To cook the other side. So this is what I do. And now, okay, pay attention guys. This takes finesse, y'all. Okay? If you don't know how to do it, you can oh, take of this. That. If you don't know how to do it like this, you can take this, take a knife and cut it in pieces and flip it in pieces like a pizza. You can slice it in four and six, however it's easier for you, okay? So this is on the other side, so we're gonna do the same thing. But now we're gonna put, I say, like uh, ten, just 10 minutes. And start it in, I am gonna add a little bit more of oil. Okay, guys, because the pan was already hot, like that. And a little bit here. You don't wanna put a lot, because you don't want your potatoes to swim on that. And remember, we season the other side, right, Michael? Oh, yeah. And I don't wanna put a lot, because, you know, depends on how everybody likes 
their hash brown potatoes. But this is how I make mine. And we'll leave it like that. You don't have to cover another nine minutes. And we'll be back. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Hey guys, so we're back, and as you can see, we have 47 seconds, but I can smell it. That is done. So this is what we're going to do, okay? I'm going to put it over here. And the reason Look why that, I put this knife there in this fork wow. is so I can cut it like this in the middle. And you see, guys, after I put it in with this, I was going like this to smash it down in the pan. But I'm gonna like uh, separate it like a pizza. Not quite like it, cause I'm not, I don't have a thing rolling it. But like this, so I can show you guys how good it cooked. Okay, and this is the other side. It's nice and beautiful and crispy. And this is how your potatoes, they're supposed to look. Here we go. Hold on, Mike. It's another piece here. And look at that, guys. And what do you put, guys, in potatoes? A lot of people put ketchup, right, Mike? Oh yeah. Hold on. You put, I'm just gonna go like this because I like these two a lot. Mmm. Mm. If you wanna put ketchup, other people they like it with a little ketchup, but this is a side only, which means that out of this potato that I made here, I made a third of the bag. You can feed like four people. But a good amount because you not only eat the potatoes, but you have the eggs, you have the bacon, and you have all the extra. So with that, guys, I'm gonna let you guys go. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you guys wanna donate, I'll um, just click right down below on Patreon.com. That will take you to the website. You can donate from a dollar to 100. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow with another video of Cindy's Home Kitchen. And do me a favor, everyone. Please do not drink and drive. Love you.